joined tonight by senior Weston Carpenter, who for the second straight night, the Lords get a relay victory. We did it last night, Weston. We go, we come back tonight, you, David Fitch, Joe Black, Tommy Weiss, get us going again in the right direction. Uh, fast start and a first place race. What'd you think of the, uh, the team's performance in that first, first race of the night? Oh, it was incredible. I mean, going into it, I wasn't sure, but um, the team on the side cheering for us really brought the energy. And um, I think we all fed off that energy. And I mean, we had some amazing swims. I mean, Tommy pulling out that 19.8 um, and then just finishing, doing what I had to do yeah. to complete that race. How big is the emotion? I've been here now as my fifth NCAC uh, meet. I've been to the national championship meet with you, with you guys and gals. How big does the emotion play into this outside of the swimming? I mean, it's huge. You've got to try to control your emotions because you've got to be prepared for anything. Because uh, you don't want to get too excited. Right, and you don't want to get too disappointed either with swims. You know, you got to stay resilient no matter what. But I tell you, there was so much energy out there, especially after that uh, that 400 medley relay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, just winning both of those relays, it was huge for us. And I think just the energy on the side really brought those relays together. You mentioned it, so I have to bring it up. Um... What a performance. I thought Humphrey Pruitt on the breaststroke really pulled us even, and then Joe Black in the final you know, 100 um, brought us home. What did you see from, uh, from watching that? Oh, I mean, just some amazing swims. I mean, Humphrey's been killing it today. Um, Joe at the end there, I mean, he went out 20.6, which really goes to show, I mean, he was, he was pumped. He was amped, and uh, he brought it home, too. I mean, 44.0, that's a, that's a great time for him, and we did, everyone did what they had to in that race to win joined tonight by junior Kendall Vanderhoof who wins the 500 free race uh, on day two of the NCAC championships. Uh, Kendall, that 250 marker, you really pulled away from everybody. Did you kind of anticipate kind of that middle part of the portion of the race where you might get real in gear and, and, and kind of, uh, you know, take a stride uh, for first? Uh, I've always been a back half swimmer, so I kind of rely on the back half to pull away. And so I just kind of try to do easy the first half and then kind of push it the second half. So. And uh, your teammate, Hannah Orbach Mandel, right at the end, she bested that Denison uh, swimmer like right at the edge. What did you two say to each other uh, when, you, when you met up at the end of the race? Um, Hannah and I are the biggest training partners. I love her. <laughs> and it's going to be hard without her next year. And so we kind of talked about that. And then just how we love going one-two and how we're just proud of anything that the other person does and just kind of rely on each other. Two days down, I know we only had a, a single yeah. <laughs> event last night, but uh, we're halfway through the, uh, the championship meet. We're, how do you think the team standing is right now? And just uh, give us your, uh, your gauge on the sideline and just the uh, emotions from the, uh, from the lords and ladies. Yeah, Denison had more scoring uh, members tonight than we did. And so we were projected to be behind at the end of tonight. But I think we've closed the gap a lot and we're not as behind as what was projected. And I think our energy is just crazy. The team is so happy for each other. And I think we're going to do really well. Joined tonight by Luis Weeks. Luis, I'm, I'm not sure you know this, but you stopped a 10-year run by winning that IM at the end uh, or near the end of the second night of the race. What, what does that mean to you to come in lane one and, and touch out everybody? Well, honestly, it, it means a lot to me because this program means so much to me, and I'm just happy to do it for the team and to hype up the team, you know? Yeah. Give us uh, From up top, up top, you and Mick Bar Bartholomew are going one and two uh, kind of towards that latter half of the race. Uh, but you pulled away in the freestyle. Has that been kind of working for you this year? Is that, that free? Yeah, funny enough, freestyle used to be my weakness when I was younger, but now it seems to be a strength of mine for some reason. And when you touch first, uh, what's going through your mind? And obviously, Denison won that 10 years in a row, that race 10 years in a row. You claim first. Well, first of all, it's, it's about time that we come back and win, you know? And another thought was that Mick and I both said that we were going to go one and two, and we did it, and that... That was everything. That was everything.